VMware Data Recovery is a product that we designed for vSphere uh, that enables uh, vSphere customer to um, perform backups of virtual machines, um, performing backups disk to disk. It efficiently backs up uh, Im images of uh, uh, virtual machine disks while providing uh, flexibility of uh, performing file level restores from those disk based images. The backup appliance itself uh, consists of three subcomponents. Um, uh, one is the backup engine. The, the backup engine is the one which uh, maintains the backup job information and uh, does the scheduling of uh, when to run the backup jobs. The next component is the VCB API. Um, uh, which I said is something which we have provided to the backup partners also. And then the third component is the uh, deduplication store. All the data in the destination is uh, deduplicated. Um, a backup job is a collection of virtual machines uh, that you want to back up to a particular destination along with um, a set of policies. Uh, the policies that you specify uh, essentially define uh, where the backup is going to go. Um, how long you want to keep backups for each virtual machine that is part of this job. There is no notion in data recovery about the job running at uh, a certain time. All you have to do is um, specify a window in which it is okay for us to do backup work and the scheduling logic inside VMware data recovery takes care of uh, making sure that um, each VM actually gets backed up uh, once every day. Each chunk of data essentially corresponds to a cryptographic hash. So that allows us to figure out whether a certain chunk is already present in the deduplication store or not. There are a couple of different uh, options that can be used to archive the dedupe store. A manual thing to do would be to uh, go into the, uh, the appliance management uh, and unmount the destination where, um, where the deduplication store uh, is being saved. That way you are sure that uh, while you, you are arch archiving this deduplication store, uh, no, nobody is modifying this deduplication store. If you want to do it on a somewhat regular basis, then make sure that you are backing up deduplication store to a virtual disk uh, in, in the appliance. Then you can uh, back up this uh, virtual appliance using any other uh, uh, VCB-enabled uh, backup product to back up this virtual appliance.